Hey songsters, today we're going to talk about chord progressions. I'm going to build on the chords that we learned last week, so if you didn't get the chance to watch that video yet, hit pause, click this link, and then you can catch up with the rest of us. If you struggle to write the songs you'd actually listen to, I'm going to be posting song tutorials like this one every Wednesday. So click subscribe and click the little bell icon and that'll get you notifications every week when I upload. Last week we learned five chords in the key of G. So we're gonna build a chord progression. To do that, we're gonna start by numbering the five chords that we know in the key of G. If you look at the chart that I made for you, the first chord is G, the second chord is A minor, the third chord is B minor, fourth chord is C, fifth chord is D, and the sixth chord is E minor. Now hang on a second. I said we learned five chords in the key of G and we have six chords in our chart. That's because B minor is a little too challenging for beginners, so I didn't teach you that chord last week. You can look up B minor if you really, really want to learn it, but for right now, if you're just starting on guitar, I would recommend skipping B minor and just work with the five chords that we learned last week. So each note in a scale has a scale degree. That's the number in the chart. And we build chords off of every scale degree. If you feel like you're learning something, click the like button. And maybe even comment with what you learned in this video in the comments. Now that we have all of our chords numbered, we're gonna kind of mix them up and come up with some different progressions. Some of these are gonna sound really familiar to you and there's a reason why. But let's get to that later. Our first chord progression is gonna be G, D, E minor, C, G. Or you can think of it with numbers. One, five, six, four, one. Now why does this sound familiar to you? It could be because of Never mind I'll find someone like you I wish nothing but the best for you too. Or it could be because Let it go, let it go Can't hold it back anymore Let it go, let it go Turn away and slam the door Okay, so you've heard this progression not just in these two songs, but in probably hundreds of other songs. The next chord progression I'm going to show you is E minor, C, G, D. If I were a boy, I think I could understand. This sounds familiar, not just from this song, We've heard this chord progression in hundreds of other songs, maybe in a different key, but the movement is the same, so it sounds familiar. Just one more. G, A minor, C, D, G. You could also think of that like one, two, four, All you need to do to turn these chord progressions into a song is come up with a rhythm, a strum pattern, and add some lyrics to it. And it'll sound just like a song. have my permission to take that exact melody, rhythm, chord progression, everything, and add your own lyrics to it. I want to give you a starting point. So if you're a little bit too afraid to come up with your own musical foundation, start there. Add some lyrics to what I just gave you and see what you come up with. I would love to hear what you come up with. So if you come up with something, send it to me. So in the description, I'm going to leave my email address and I want you to send me your songs because I think that it's cool. These are just a few of the most common chord progressions that we hear in pop music today. You can't copyright a chord progression. 
There are millions and millions of songs that have these exact chord progressions in them, in the key of G, or in the key of A, or in the key of D. So don't be afraid of copying these patterns because they're everywhere. Add some melodies, add some lyrics, and you got a song. If you like what you learn in this video, click subscribe and write the song that you need to hear this week. I'm going to be posting, I am going to be posting G, C, oh, I'm going to play them. I forgot, there's a guitar in my lap. You can look up the key, uh, if you have, um,